travelers, thank you for selecting Travels Airlines. In case of a water emergency, please fasten your seatbelt. And if you see fish, we may not be on the water, may just be this week's animal, the flying fish. Over. There are 64 species of flying fish, all belonging to the Exocetidae family. They are known for their wing-like fins and torpedo-shaped bodies. It allows them to shoot out of the water and glide across the surface for extended periods of time. They can fly up to four feet and travel up to 700 feet while they're out of the water. You probably won't see them in the air when you're in an airplane, however, because their flight is known as glided flight. They're not gonna soar in the air, but they'll scoot above the water. This is known as a defensive adaptation that allows them to avoid predators that are trying to eat them. While they're preparing to fly, they can reach speeds up to 40 miles per hour. This allows them to take off properly as they begin their flight. Whoa! Sarge, we got a speeder on our hands! We better go catch him! No can do, rookie. That guy's about to take off. Flying fish are able to fly because of the way their body is built. They have an aerodynamic shape, which allows them to build up speed as they reach the surface. They also have pectoral fins that spread out like wings. This allows them to be great swimmers and great flyers. Ooh, can its little skinny body do this? Flying fish travel in groups known as schools. Schooling is an important defense mechanism because it lowers the chances of an individual being caught by a predator. You just have to be faster than your slower neighbor. Uh-oh, Grandpa Trev's coming and he wants to tell us old stories. No! no! Come here, Sonny. Let me tell you about how we used to work out back in the day. Flying fish have a bunch of predators that hunt them in the ocean. They have to watch out for blue tuna, as well as swordfish and marlin. Flying fish have developed and evolved the ability to fly to escape those predators. Science is cool! <laughs> I'm here to finally take over your show, you dingus! I'd like to see you try! The IUCN currently lists flying fish species as least concern, which is of course great news, but they often fall victim to overfishing. Because they school, large fishing nets will gather many different flying fish at the exact same time. Overfishing can be very harmful for flying fish populations, so it's important for fishermen to pick different spots so that the populations can grow. Thanks for checking us out this week, Travelers. This week's honorary traveler is Traveler Will. Will wrote into Travelers at TravsTravels.org and requested the flying fish. Thanks, Will! And if yours calls him, make sure to email us what animal or conservation effort you want to learn more about. If you want to learn about the evolutionary changes in the flying fish, or just how sensitive they are, make sure to visit TravsTravels.org and visit our Facebook and Twitter page. Keep on traveling! Back in my day, we used to take a stick and put two milk crates on the end of them. And as for protein powder, we had beans! And instead of this workout powder...